We left off with uh, uh, Barbie uh, being on the gallows and Big Jim about to hang him, kind of a sacrifice, if you will, to the gods. Chester's mill sentences Dale Barbara to death. He's convinced that that's what's needed. He's about to ask Junior, or demand Junior, command Junior, to uh, pull the lever, and uh, we're gonna say bye-bye to, uh, to Del Barbara. What's happening? Now, son, do it now! Now, Junior! Well, I think Big Jim is a guy who wants to, he loves power, there, that's true, but he thinks he's doing it for the, for the sake of the town. You're the one tearing Chester's mill apart. No, I'm the one with the guts to do what needs to be done! Someone has to make the hard choices. Oh, I, it's just a delicious character to play, Big Jim is. It's so much fun. Um, I love the fact that he's just unrestrained. You know, he does what he needs to do. I, I always think of him as like kind of like this lizard, and he's just kind of cooking along, and whatever, you know, if he sees a fly, he eats it. He doesn't think about eating it, he just eats it, <laughs> you know? You're a sick bastard. And it's such a great character to play. And he's manipulative, and he uses his salesman tactics to kind of smooth things over when he needs to. So it's a constant chameleon. It's constantly playing a character within a character, because he's playing different characters for different people in the show. And it, uh, it allows, as an actor, it's just a blast, because you get to play a bunch of different people within the same guy, you know? What happened today? I'm sorry I dismissed what you had to say. Maybe you're right. About the dome? Yes. There's some new characters this season, which Big Jim has to determine whether they are people that he trusts, uh, whether they trust him. Who's that? My uncle. And it's always an interesting question of, do you trust Big Jim? <laughs> My home is your home. Wow. That's really generous of you, Jim. Thank you. See you at supper. <laughs> Did that magnet mess with your brain? You keep your friends close and your enemies closer. The Dome, although it was a big character in season one, I think it's an even, even more important character in season two. And the question is, you know, is the Dome influencing Big Jim? Is the Dome, has the Dome chosen Big Jim to lead the town? And is Big Jim, or is Big Jim just crazy? And he thinks that the dome has chosen him, and that's what's justifying all the things that he's doing. What are you? A messenger. I'm listening. No, you're not. You're still thinking you're gonna get out of here and keep on keeping on killing whoever gets in your way. Screw you. I don't care if you are the dome, whatever the hell else you are. I'm the one that can run this town. The whole town's going down and it's your fault. So there's this constant tension between whether Big Jim is doing the right thing and he's doing it because the Dome has told him to do uh, or has deemed that he's the guy to, to, to make the decisions or has he misinterpreted that whole thing and the Dome is not telling him, the Dome is maybe not on his side at all. Um, and I think that's an interesting kind of thing that we set up in the season uh, premiere and it goes through the, the, through the season. What the hell are you doing? What the Dome wants me to do? A lot more excitement, a lot more of, of what they liked in season one. Um, it, it, you know, we just ramp it up. So uh, I think whatever, uh, if you enjoyed season one, you'll love season two.